Hey, good morning, good evening, everyone. Today we are going to write our first Java program using JDK21 and IDE Visual Studio Code. I am very excited. Let's get started. These are the number of steps that we are going to take to write and execute our first Java program. First step is download JDK21 and IDE Visual Studio Code. Then install both of them. Write our first Java program. Hello world. Compile it and execute it. So as a part of our step, let's go and download Visual Studio Code. Download. Okay. This Visual Studio Code is available. This is a free a version. So this is available in three platforms. I'm running on Windows. So let's get the Windows version and give the location where it, you want to download. Give the location. Now let's download JDK 21. Okay. Java downloads. We want to download JDK 21. Looks like JDK 22 is also available. There are uh, some work going on. It will be available from September, but uh, let's focus on our JDK 21 as we planned. It's available in three OSs, Linux, Microsoft OS and Windows. Let's go to the Windows and download the installer. And give the location where we want to download. We'll download the same location where we have the Visual Studio code. Let's do one thing. I typed CMD command prompt and want to check whether Java is installed or not. Do you know how to check it? If not, now you are learning. You will be knowing in few seconds. When we type Java hyphen version, if Java or JDK installed on that machine, we will see some information. If not, we will see this kind of error, right? Looks like Java is not installed on this box. Now let's close this. Let's go back and check it out whether these two are in downloaded. Looks like they are downloaded. First, let us install JDK 21 on our machine. Because this tool uh, IDE depends on JDK 21, it's better we install the JDK first. Let's go. There are too many windows. Okay. It is installing in program files. You can change it, but let's keep it that way. JDK 21 or Java is installed successfully. Let us go and verify. You remember how we checked? Let's go to our search and type CMD and hit enter. You'll get a command prompt. Go here and type Java hyphen version. If it is installed successfully, we see the version. There you go. Now JDK 21 is installed successfully. Let's go back to our download folders. JDK is done. Now let us install Visual Source. Visual Studio Code. It's not Visual Source Code. It's a Visual Studio Code. This is an IDE. This is a free IDE from Microsoft. There are other IDEs such as IntelliJ and Eclipse that we are installing Visual Studio Code. It is installed in this. Just keep that one like that. You know, default location. And we want to have the same installation uh, folder, what they recommended, that is users SFS and the users. And app data local. This is going fast. Let's see. Give a few more seconds. This will be done. Yep, we want to launch it, right? Yes. There we are. Congratulations. We installed our IDE. We installed our JDK. Now let's go back and see in the extension section, let's type Java. There is a extension pack for Java. This is, in, you know, 
install for this if it is not please install this extension we already got this extension so now we can close this this is the IDE I will quickly give a walkthrough of the IDE so this IDE is empty right now and this help you can go and see about you can see the version of the visual studio code let us write our first Java program so we want to write a Java program right click here and type we can do it in multiple ways we can go from this hello uh, you know in the welcome page a uh, welcome screen if you don't see this that's fine you can close this or you can right click and say new file this file will be created here and you can give the file name here like hello world dot java as soon as we type dot java there you can see word j before and i didn't do anything it's automatically created public class hello world it knows that this is the structure that is required that is the beauty of the ide and now we will write our public static void main string and system dot out dot println don't worry if you don't uh, do not know or do not understand i'm going to explain first let me write this program okay i will explain step by step what these are hope you are following me till now if not please write in the comments i will address as soon as possible Welcome to Java JDK JDK 21 world. This is our first program. I saved it. Control S. Now we can run this one in two different ways. Right? This is the first program. Hooray! one right click run java or we can click this button run i clicked that button see here this is what we wrote here right let's go ahead and add some more and say that hey we want to do system.out.println and say run our program with no errors right now save this again run this one now you can see our second line is also there boom congratulations you are able to write your first java program successfully what we did in this video we downloaded jdk21 and uh, visual so visual studio code installed both of them wrote hello world java compiled and executed it now let's come back to this hello world.java let me explain what this is public class hello world so you can see this hello world class name and the file name are matching as soon as you typed hello world dot java this ide automatically generated this right this class the java is an object oriented programming language right everything need to have every program need to have at least one java class and public is an access modifier here you can do run or debug this public static is a class level keyword means this method belongs to class void means this method is not returning anything main is the method name and string is the parameter if you don't understand any of these things you feel overwhelmed don't worry about it i'm going to explain all these things in detail in the subsequent videos 
thanks for uh, tuning in and again congratulations on your first jdk 21 and ide session